Hi everybody, welcome to Express Golf, I'm Tom Denby. Now today, we're going to review the new Ping G410 iron, give you an understanding of who it's targeted at, but also give you an understanding of the technology behind the golf club and exactly what Ping say about this. So what exactly do Ping say about this new iron? So we've got what they call a larger flexing zone, we've got a cleaner look and a higher moment of inertia, they've got a toe hosel weighting system into it. So the whole idea behind this golf club is that they're wanting a golf club that is, is forgiving, a bit like their G-Max type golf club, but they're wanting to target somebody who wants a slightly leaner, fresher look. So there's less offset in this golf club than you would imagine. Um, it's a little bit narrow on the bottom, but not too bad, to be fair. Um, and ultimately, they're, they're targeting a, a golfer who wants the forgiveness, I suppose, but also wants it to look a little bit cleaner. So it's that kind of middle bracket that they want to kind of touch into. Now, a lot of manufacturers say that that's going to target between a, a pro all the way up to a, a high handicapper. Now, the, the answer to this is it probably does, but who are they actually wanting to target? And it's probably, I would say, from a five handicap to a 15 handicap. Um, that sort of player and, and somebody who wants that little bit of forgiveness. Now what they've also done is retain their, their core eye technology which basically helps to, to create more power off the golf clubs, to create more spring really. They've used this technology for a long time in their irons. It does work to be fair, as do most technologies in the irons. And what we've started to see over the last few years is, is a progression into multi-piece together technology in irons. So a bit like you would see with a driver over the last 20 years. We've seen that really happen with irons that they're really kind of they take every avenue they possibly can to create more club head speed but also create more forgiveness across the golf club so they've retained that in this iron. If we could only design one iron for the marketplace it would be the G410. The fun part about the G410 iron is that it's a little smaller and leaner, so when players first set it down, it's going to look cleaner. It has 10% less offset, but the most exciting part is that we're able to boost the inertia or the heel-toe weighting by 8% in this iron, which is a gigantic leap for an iron of that size. So uh, to produce an iron that looks a little leaner, has a cleaner line and cleaner form, produces a ton of distance, so it's powered by our core eye technology, high launch, high ball speed, but have a distance-minded iron that produces really consistent trajectories and doesn't have hot spots. And then the inertia is 8% higher, so it just has amazing amount of extra stability built into it. And so indeed, it would have the broadest appeal and we really think the way this iron looks and the way when you set it down in the playing position is really going to be attractive to a lot of players. So as with all these golf clubs, we, we need to hit them and get a good understanding of it. So let's have a few hits and just see what my initial thoughts are whilst I'm hitting it. Now, I've been trying this for the, about the last 20, 30 minutes really and I'm, I'm, I'm actually very impressed with how it comes off the golf club. So it actually looks quite nice behind the ball. It's quite an elongated head, which is, which is definitely going to promote some confidence to the golf club. It will give you some, some, some forgiveness. But more importantly, what I really like about it is the sound of the golf club. Now, traditionally, pink golf clubs sound a bit dead because there's never really been, um, I want to say technology behind it, I don't mean it like that, but there's never really been um, a feeling of it exploding off the golf club, in my opinion. Now, with this one, I actually think it sounds good and performs good. So it's got a really strong feel off the golf club. And I actually personally like the sound that they've created with this. And this obviously must be partly to do with the technology, but also to do with the fact that, it, that it's, a, it's a smaller head, it's targeting more at that 5 to 15 handicap, I suppose. But I do like the sound of it. Uh, I also like the feel, it is very forgiving, but I, when I look at golf clubs like this, I go, would I use this? 
Absolutely, you know, it, it's a golf club that potentially I would put in my bag because it's forgiving, but also I do feel like I'm getting some feel out of it. It's not a, it's not a golf club that you just can't feel where it's going off the golf off the face. You can't feel where it's going to go once you've hit it as a good player. I do feel like we're getting some some good performance out of it for my level of golf. Yeah, really good. Wow. So what would be very interesting to see with this type of golf club is the numbers in terms of spin rate, launch angle, is it going to launch too high for me, is it going to spin too much and all that kind of stuff, so, or spin too late, little. So let's look at the Trackman data and get a really good understanding of exactly what's happening with this golf club through the actual data. So we look at the numbers that Trapman created. I'm actually very, very impressed with this. So we've got um, a decent club head speed in terms of what I would normally create. Um, we've got a, a launch angle of 18.1 on average. We've got a spin rate of just over 6,000. Carry distance of 162, the total distance of 168. Now, they're pretty much the numbers I would expect off my own golf clubs, which are a forged head. So I'm actually very impressed with that because I was anticipating this maybe to launch a bit too high, maybe the spin rate to be a bit too high, which you would anticipate on, on a much bigger golf club um, that's, gonna, that's supposed to help handicap golfers. But actually, these are creating some really, really good numbers. So I go back to what I said earlier that I would say that this is, I mean, now I would use these, definitely, but I would say from a five handicap to a 15 handicap, these are a great golf club to look at because you still get a little bit of forgiveness with a slightly wider sole. But you're getting quite a lot of technology and also a, a, a leaner looking golf club than what you would anticipate from a Ping's game improving set. So they do sit in that middle ground. So actually very impressed. They do work. I like the sound of it. I like the, 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 the flight that I'm getting from it as well. So actually if you're looking for something to sit in that middle bracket, this is absolutely perfect. But as always, make sure you get fitted. So thanks for watching. If you're new to the Express Golf channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell button so you get all the notifications of the new videos. And we look forward to seeing you soon.